the one thing that this sale will change dramatically, right? It's, and it, it happens to LA franchises. Frank McCourt ran the Dodgers into the ground, took it into bankruptcy, and ended up making a billion plus dollars, right. if not more, when right. the team was sold for $2.1 right. billion. Dollars. The same, the LA Clippers franchise is going to sell far north, in my opinion. You think so? Of a billion? Uh, oh, yeah, not really? even close. Yeah, really? not even close. Now, the, the bigger issue there is we talk about um, people wanting to own sports franchises. There's a finite number. But the pricing now, people always ask me, can you afford, would you buy a football team? I can't afford a football team. Really? Right? We, you know, I walk through the streets in New York. People pull over their cars. Buy the Mets. Buy the Mets. <laughs> buy the Mets. A, I don't want to be an MLB anymore. But B, I don't think I could afford them. The point being, wow. acquiring a franchise has gone from, you know, kind of rich guys, regardless of their demographic, right. or, or women, right? Because right. there's women owners as well. Um, being able to write a check right. for a team to it being a consortium. A, a business a, deal, a big a, business right, deal with lots have, of stakeholders. Yeah, you have lots of stakeholders, right? And there's a lead partner and there's a lot of investors. That changes the tenor of the entire sport, right? It's or of all sports, right? It's no longer, you know, I'm, <laughs> I used to be the, the young kid on the block causing problems, right? Now I'm one of the old school dudes, right? Because it, we've had such a turnover and a lot of the professional sports have had a big turnover. And the, the people coming in to buy the teams are rarely individual owners anymore. Right. Now they're consortiums, as you said. So things are really going to change for the Clippers. Things are, things have, again, I can't talk to the yeah. Clippers, but I'm saying in sports in general, right, things, we've already turned the corner now that buying a professional sports team in any of the, the, the three, maybe four, including the NHL sports leagues, even Major League Soccer we're talking about, the price of a franchise has gone from, I remember people, you know, people talked to me years ago, $10 million, right? right to a hundred plus million dollars. It's no longer someone just writing a check, hey, this is my team, right, come into my locker room. It's a real business. It's, it's yeah. not, you know, what's the right word? Um, it's not a trophy asset right. like it used to be. It has to make money. And that has changed dramatically. And it, it's almost the law of unintended consequences that these circumstances with the Clippers could be what changes it even more dramatically.